welcome to video number nine in the sound painting series. My name's Evan Mazunik. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, if you don't know what sound painting is, go ahead and check out the video description below or check out an earlier uh, video or check out soundpainting.com. Uh, I want to cut right to the chase today. The uh, sun is setting very quickly. We just got a window of daylight. We've got trains going past here and there, so I want to make the most of this and get right to the meat of the matter here today. So, today I want to work with a few new gestures. The most, uh, the first one I want to work with, and I think the meatiest one, or the most important one, is anaphora. Anaphora. Here's the preparation, and there's the execution. Anaphora, what does that mean? That comes from a term in poetry talking about the deliberate repetition of a phrase at the beginning of successive stanzas or verses. A really, uh, example you might connect with is Martin Luther King used it in his famous I Have a Dream speech, where he kept on repeating, I have a dream, and then he would talk about that, and then he'd say, I have a dream, and go some more and say, I have a dream. So that idea of repetition is really what's at the heart of this gesture. Now, in sound painting, the way we're going to adapt that idea to live composition is to repeat instantly in the moment. So we're in the sense setting up like a uh, similar to a, a previous video, a real-time loop. We're going to set up um, a loop with an aphora. But first, let me just show you what an aphora is by itself without the loop. So here's a preparation. Say again, I'm going to use speech. And I'm thinking I might be talking about cheese. I might be talking about cheese. And right as the moment when I see my hands go on the chopping block, on the chopping block, I jump back a few words or phrase like a record skip. 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 And then as long as I hold it there, I'll continue with that. And if I only see it one time, if I only see it one time, I'll just jump back a phrase and then continue with my train of thought. Okay, so uh, that's um, messes with your brain trying to do both, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a good challenge. So that's anaphora. And you can apply the same thing in movement, or in uh, visual art, or on your instrument, with music, in sound. Um, and if I want, say I want to hold it here, 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 I might give what's called an anaphora, and then half of a continue gesture to set it up so that's in a sense locked. Boom. And then I'll let go of my hands and you'll continue with that loop. And I might identify it as a memory. This is a memory. I might say, uh, you know, point to point with something like that memory. So let me talk about the next gesture, with. Uh, we've been working in point to point, where you come in with an idea and you develop that idea slowly. All right? Usually it's completely open. Today I want to work with all the language we've already used, like long tones and pointillism, hits, uh, minimalism perhaps, and apply that to the point-to-point -point gesture. So now, if you see point-to-point -point with, for instance, long tones, the germ or the core of your idea is going to be long tones. You're going to be in a long tone type of world. Now you're not obligated to only play long tones exclusively. There's another way to ask for that. But right now, know that long tone should be the sort of center of your, your idea, the focus of your idea. So it's not pie with ice cream, but point to point with long tones. So I'll, in a sense, limit that playing field, give you a few less options to choose from, and hopefully that'll free you up just to develop one idea or one, um, uh, one content. So we've got whole group. Point, I might point at you and continue, and you're continuing with something. It might be point to point with pointillism, point to point with pointillism, two different gestures. And you come in with your content. If I gave you a width, that width will shrink down all your options and improvises just to one area. Pointillism, long tones, hits, that's going to drive your choice. And then at some point, you'll see a preparation for anaphora. And I'll lean in. 
and that will get you to, to repeat back just a few words or a phrase. Uh, apply the same for music, it might be four or five notes. In movement, it might just be this movement gets repeated again. So, you'll see that, and then you might also see me set it, in a sense, in a loop, or use the continue gesture. Now, I'll drop my hands, and you keep going with that material. So we've got point to point with who knows. We've also got all effect, your choice, with anaphora, and modify that. So that repeats back a couple words, a phrase, four or five notes. Hopefully you get the picture. Uh, please continue to leave comments. I look forward to more and more responses uh, on the blog, uh, video responses with your submission, and I'll go ahead and jump into a piece. Let's try a short composition. Thanks so much for participating. Please leave your video response below. And for those of you who are in Boston, 
uh, a little note. I'm going to be up in Boston giving a sound painting workshop this weekend. So go ahead. Uh, you can leave a comment below or email me through Bliss Street Studios and let me know if you're in the area. I'll give you details on the workshop and the performance. Thanks.